Hey y'all, my name's Larry and I'm with Under the Bridge Flies and we're gonna tie up a uh, peacock caddis pattern here. Um, <clears throat> we're using a Daiichi 1120 size 14 scud hook. Um, you can tie these on a regular dry fly hook um, or a scud hook, whichever you prefer. Um, I like the look of the caddis on a scud hook, so um, I use them quite a bit. And we're going to be using a Unithread 80, a dark brown. And the first thing that we need to do is grab us a couple of uh, peacock feathers here. I'm just going to pull off a couple so I have them ready. Um, for this pattern here, this size 14, I usually use uh, two of them. If you're doing them smaller, of course, you know, one's sufficient, but you know, some people do these in a, you know, 10 or 12 as well, you know, so you want to grab three or four. So we're going to get our thread started. When I start my thread, I'm holding my, I'm going to hold my thread back you know, like there's a bead on it. And we're just gonna go ahead and bring your thread back and when you can, cut your tail off. And just bring your thread down to where it's, you know, right to about halfway, quarter down the bend there. And then we're gonna take our couple pieces of a uh, peacock curl here and you want to snip them little, snip that off there. I usually snip back about a quarter inch. You get to better uh, hurl the fiber part there. And I want this to go all the way up. So we're just going to tie it in. And as we go up, it should land about where we left our thread. All right, so we're just gonna wrap this peacock curl here. These are real easy tie flies to tie, so you know this is a great you know if you're a beginning tie flyer, tie flyer fly tire. <laughs> this is a good one for you to tie up. You know you can tie up a bunch of these in no time, and I mean they're great patterns. The fish love these things. Um, you try not to tie any. <laughs> flies that the fish don't eat so but now we just clean that up around there a little bit and I'm gonna move my hook back some so I can see a little better all right now I'm using uh, mule deer hair you can use uh, antelope regular deer hair elk hair I mean whatever you prefer you know I just like the way these caddis come out, this peacock caddis comes out with this deer hair on it, and I've caught quite a few fish on these, you know, on the dry flies, so um, they're pretty good. You know, if uh, one of the worst things about the YouTube videos is, you know, the guy says, well, you know, I grab a piece of hair this big around, and you're really not sure, you know. <laughs> I know I had trouble with that when I first started watching them, so what I'm going to do is I just take it and hold it up and see all right you know that looks good to me you know I mean that's kind of what your caddis should look like when it's all said and done so this makes it a little bit easier if you're beginning if not in your trained professional <laughs> basically I just took a clump about the size of your uh, body of your caddis here you know so Anyway, um, then you want to brush this out. There's some, uh, get those little fibers out of there. Um, when you're spinning deer hair or whatever, I find getting as many of these fibers out as you can really helps out a lot. It makes it spin a lot easier and stuff and makes the fly look a lot better too. So anyway, once you get, you know, that halfway cleaned up, go ahead and drop it into your stacker. couple little bounces there and then your hair is going to be all nice and lined up and grab that and 
going to clean up any that he missed. You know, a few strays here and there, no biggie. But all right, so you want your to the back of your hook. You want your hair. You know, I'm I let mine extend just you know just a little bit past my hook there. Um, once you get it to where you know you kind of like it, just grab it, switch hands, and take a loose turn, another loose turn, and then on the third one, kind of start tightening down a little bit, and that front should start sprawling out like that on you. And just uh, get you some good wraps in there. We got a fiber down there that just didn't want to cooperate, it's going everywhere. Anyway, so when you get that, just uh, pull your front back and go ahead and throw some wraps around there and divide it again because we're going to go back around here a couple times, make sure this thing's good and secure, and we're going to go back around front again. And once you get all that, just grab your whip finisher while you got it there and go ahead and We'll finish that out and go ahead and snip your extra thread off there. All right, so now you want to grab your butt ends, try to keep uh, the other hair back there in the back where it belongs. Sometimes you get a stray coming up in front, but not a big deal. So Anyway, just grab your butt ends and clip them off. I'm doing this the other handed so you can see better. And I'm just going to clip these off. <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, now that I know where it needs to be, I'll just... <laughs> so much for being right handed on that one, huh? And just clean that up a little bit. Try to get this evened up. There's a stray that's bugging me there. Anyway, give that a little pull up and you should be able to just go around and um, clean that up some. And that's about all there is to it there. Um, that's a peacock caddis. Um, like I said, I'm using a Daiichi 1120 size 14 for this one. You can dye these from size 20 all the way up to size 10. I mean, it's whatever your area is fishing. I mean, <clears throat> I used uh, mule deer hair. Of course, you know, like I said, I mean, regular deer hair. Um, antelope works really good I mean it floats really good I use antelope on a lot of my caddis patterns but this one here I just like the color of that so and like I said I've caught quite a few fish on this pattern anyway the fly itself and all the materials to tie this fly is available on my website under the bridge flies.com and we have a bunch more videos on there uh, stop in check it out got some uh, good deals you know pretty good deals people tell me you know so um, go check it out if you haven't seen it yet um, might want to stop in and look at it it's under the bridge flies.com anyway i thank you guys for watching my videos and i hope you uh, watch the next one thank you